see, a lot of people call God for what God has nothing to do with. Did T.D. Jake says God provides trees, doesn't make furniture. Exactly. <laughs> so, I needed to take time back to see what I had done to her. Mm, mm, mm. The years when I was feeling like I was still young and cheating all day, breaking her heart and everything, mm -hmm. to the years where, okay, I wasn't there and mm. just pursuing my dreams. But we, I forgot that this was a human being that was taking records. Yeah, yeah. And taking experiences of her life as well. So I became somebody that she didn't recognize anymore at some point, and I couldn't even call her to pick up the phone. And the, the same woman I had so much control over, I had no control over anymore because she outgrew me. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to, to get that restored and to achieve that back, I needed to go back and start fresh. Mm -hmm. Detox and clear everything that I have done and seen. And, and you know, <laughs> it's a process, man. Yeah. It's a process, and, and a lot of people keep failing because they keep jumping from one thing to another. You need to take time, sit back, and see why you got it wrong. Leave that thing. Take the pain. A lot of people don't want to start because they don't want to be seen starting from the bottom. Go back to the bottom. That's what happened to me. I had to go back from, to start there, and, yeah. and from there I started to see. I made a lot of mistakes, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Now, the good news, I, I like the fact that you and your wife got back together. You know, that was a restoration process. Right. How did that happen? So I know you, you had the solitude, and then you confronted yourself, and you admitted where you'd gone off the rails, where you'd hurt her, why she outgrew you. So how was, do you not do the process of getting her back? First is God. First I prayed. Mm. I, I cried my, myself to God. You know, I, 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 I acknowledged everything I did wrong to mm -hmm. God, not to her. Mm -hmm. I, I submitted myself and I did what God wanted me to do. Humble. Mm -hmm. If the Spirit told me to prostrate and beg at that moment, then that's what I do. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. there is no general little in marriage. Mm -hmm. It's significant and unique to people. Right. My situation is different from your situation. Right. If I have to crawl in the gutter mm. to beg my wife. Mm. That's what I'll do if I know the value of my wife to me. If something is valuable to you, mm. I've never seen a man lose something valuable to him. Mm. Mm. Never. Mm. There, was, there was hundreds of people who tried to interfere to settle it. It never worked. Mm. Mm. When I asked everybody and showed God that nobody mattered and he was the only one. Yeah. I prayed over and over, cried myself to him, did whatever I could do when I had to do it. But one thing I'll tell you is that the day my God restored my wife and I, nobody was involved. Mm. It was just a phone call. Mm. Marriage is not a child's play. No one a woman goes into marriage with the intention of divorcing his or her partner someday but because life is filled with endless possibilities that's why you can wake up one day and hear that this person has broken up this person has divorced this person has separated but in the case of this particular young man it wasn't his intention to be ever separated from his wife and kids because that happened some time ago so it is a hard thing to bear in mind please guys follow this page for more videos thank you